Step into ring three, a history reader. Listen up. Alexander Graham Bell's Talking Machine by Monica Cooling, illustrated by Richard Waltz. Arf, arf, arf. Come here, boy. Alexander Graham Bell wants to show his brothers a trick. He could stroke the dog's throat so that it sounded like the dog was talking. Alex's father had taught him all about sound. Sound moves through the air in waves, said Papa. When the waves hit your ear, you hear the sound. Alec loved sound. He loved to sit under the piano and sing out loud. His voice made the piano bar shake. When Alec grew up, he still loved sound. He also loved inventing. Alec knew that sound shook a wire. Could it also cross over a wire? If Alec could invent a talking machine, then people could talk to each other long distance. Alec knew how he wanted the talking machine to be, but he did not know how to build it. He hired a young man named Tom Watson. Tom could build anything. He built the two parts of the talking machine. The sanding part of the talking machine had a mouthpiece that looked like a cone. The receiving part was in another room. The two parts were joined by, joined by a wire. The wire was connected to a battery. When Alex spoke into the cone, the battery sound sent out waves of electricity. In the other room, Tom listened, but heard nothing. Alec and Tom worked hard. They tried many ways to make the machine work, but every time Alex spoke into the cone, Tom heard nothing. Then one day, they tried something new. This time, when Alex spoke, Tom came running. Did you hear what I said? asked Alec, excited. No, said Tom, but I did hear the rise and fall of your voice. One day, by accident, Alex spilled acid on his pants. He called into the cone. Watson, come here. I want to see you. Watson came running. It works, it works, he shouted. I heard every word. One day, by accident, Alex spilled acid on his pants. He called into the cone. Watson, come here. I want to see you. Watson came running. It works, it works, he shouted. I heard every word. Chug, chug, chug. Alec was going to Philadelphia. He was taking his talking machine to the World's Fair. The United States was 100 years old. There were parties everywhere. The World's Fair was the biggest party of all. Excitement was in the air. The whole world had come to visit the fair. Alec didn't know what to do first. He might visit the Egyptian mummy or stroll through the sweet smelling Japanese garden or listen to the musical clocks. It was a world of wonders. A giant st steam engine powered lights and elevators at the fair. People were filled with awe to see it working. A pickle salesman named Henry Hines had made a new tomato sauce. He called it ketchup. Soon restaurants all over America would have bottles of ketchup on their tables. Charles Hires had made a drink from roots. He called it root beer. 
It was a hot summer day. Alec bought a bottle. Yum. There were many interesting inventions at the fair. The typewriter, the sewing machine, the calculator. Alec's talking machine was in a corner up a flight of stairs. It was too hot. No one wanted to climb the stairs. Alec's talking machine was in a corner up a flight of stairs. It was too hot. No one wanted to climb the stairs. Alec was worried. What if no one saw his invention? But one person did climb the stairs. He was Dom Pedro, the emperor of Brazil. What is this thing? He asked. Let me show you, said Alec. Dom Pedro held the hearing piece to his ear. On the other side of the building, Alec spoke into the cone. To be or not to be. The room was noisy. But Dom Pedro had heard Alec's voice, loud and clear. Dom Pedro dropped the hearing piece. It talks, he shouted. People wanted to know why Dom Pedro was so excited. The judges lined up to try the machine. They couldn't believe that you could talk to someone across a crowded room without shouting. They were convinced. Alex's talking machine was a marvel. Alec called his invention the telephone, which means far talking. Soon telephones were being made all over the world. At first, people were afraid of the telephone. It might spread disease. Everyone would know their business. Life would never be the same. But in time, People grew to love the telephone. You could talk to a friend far away, or phone the doctor if you were sick, or buy groceries without leaving your house. Alec and Watson loved to show people their invention. Bring! Hoi! Hoi! shouted Alec into the receiver. The audience watched while Alex spoke to Watson in a city over 20 miles away.